Hello everyone. Today, we're tackling a common question for PLDT Home Fibber users. We'll show you how to enable WPS. WPS is a quick way to connect devices to your Wi-Fi. Let's get started. First, why enable WPS? It offers a simpler connection method than manually entering your Wi-Fi password. Especially useful for devices without a screen. Think printers or older gadgets. However, note that WPS can be a security risk. Only enable it when you need it. Disable it afterward for safety. Now, let's begin with the steps. You will need access to your PLDT Home Fibre Modem settings. This usually requires a computer or smartphone connected to your Wi-Fi network. Open a web browser. Type your modem's IP address in the address bar. This is often 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.254.1. Check the sticker on your modem if you're unsure. You'll need a username and password to log in. The default username is often admin. The default password might be Plafonfibre or admin. If these don't work, contact PLDT support to retrieve your credentials. Once logged in, navigate to the wireless settings. Look for sections like WLAN, Wi-Fi, or Wireless Security. Find the WPS settings. It might be labeled WPS Configuration or something similar. Look for a button or checkbox to enable WPS. It often has options like Enable WPS or Activate WPS. Click or check the box to enable it. You might see different WPS modes. There's usually push button configuration, PBC, and pin configuration. PBC is the simplest. You press a button on your device and a button on the modem. Pin configuration requires you to enter a pin from your device into the modem settings. Choose the mode that suits your device. Once WPS is enabled, connect your device. For PBC, press the WPS button on your modem. Then, Follow your device's instructions. It should automatically connect to your Wi-Fi. For pin configuration, enter the pin from your device into the modem's WPS settings. Save your changes after enabling WPS. There might be a Save, Apply, or Submit button. Click it to confirm the changes. Remember to disable WPS when you're finished connecting devices. This enhances your network security. Go back to the WPS settings and disable the option you enabled earlier. Save your changes again. That's it. You've successfully enabled and then disabled WPS on your PLDT home fiber modem. Remember security best practices. Changing default passwords is also recommended. We hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. Consider subscribing for more helpful tech tips and tutorials. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Sharing this video with friends and family who might find it useful would also be great.